Late Report. Well, a local public relations firm says they've been hired to devise an exit strategy to ease public furor if and when the Seahawks decide to leave town. Another PR firm says they've been hired to create a public furor if and when the Seahawks <laughs> decide to leave town. Governor Lowry drove to the Tacoma News Tribune this week to complain about their political cartoonist, Chris Britt, who he mistakenly thought had dated Lowry's harassment accuser, Suzanne Albright. Britt was startled by the governor's visit, but eventually calmed him down by teaching him how to draw Popeye. <laughs> the Penny Store in Auburn is closing its doors after 73 years. A spokesperson for Penny said, apparently, over the years, Auburn men have lost interest in buying clean underwear. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. says he may leave the Mariners because he hates Seattle's rain and snow. In response, Seattle citizens will soon be asked to vote on a $14.5 trillion retractable roof over all of Western Washington. <laughs> a Meet Your Valentine party will be held on February 9th at the Bellevue Hyatt and is sponsored by the American Singles Organization and Great Expectation Video Dating. The party is for single people who need to hire a company to get a date. <laughs> Jimmy Hoffa Jr. campaigned in Seattle last week for president of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. Hoffa said that he liked Seattle so much he'd like to return someday, perhaps as part of a cement block in the new Mariner Stadium. <laughs> and now, a personal comment from Nancy Guppy. Nancy? Thanks, John. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Nancy Guppy, and my car was stolen two weeks ago, and even though it was found, I'd like to speak to anyone who might be thinking of stealing it again. Okay, this is my car. It's a 1989 Nissan Sentra. Now, sure, it's a decent car, but is it really the best car you could be stealing? I mean, it gets horrible gas mileage, the defrost doesn't work, and if you have a lot of friends or gang members to drive around, boy, will you be cramped. <laughs> This, however, is our producer Bill Stainton's car. <laughs> a 1992 Saab. It has a nice design, plenty of space, and great steering in case you need to run from the police. <laughs> also, also, it's painted dark blue, which is very inconspicuous and has never been in a wreck. <laughs> okay, if prestige is what you're after, John Keister drives this 12-cylinder Jaguar convertible with a leather bucket seat. Yeah, yeah. And you know something? John makes a lot of money, and I'm willing to bet he keeps some of it in his car. <laughs> yeah. And don't you uh, keep a cell phone in your car, too? What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> well, mean, whatever. What? Just make sure you checked under the front seat for that phone. <laughs> okay, now, Pat Cashman doesn't even lock his 1985 Jeep Grand Cherokee parked on the second floor Space D. It's got a CD player anti-lock brakes and is the perfect size when stealing for the family. <laughs> now, if for some reason it is locked, the back door on the passenger side doesn't shut all the way, so with a screwdriver, you'll have no problem. <laughs> Believe me. Finally, Bob Nelson doesn't have a car, but, but he does. He does carry lots of cash and can't fight very well. Okay? Now, Bob rides the number 20 bus every day at 5. So, in conclusion, I'm not saying go steal a car or beat up Bob Nelson. I'm just saying consider your many options before you steal from me. Thank you. Finally, a new monthly TV series called I Wanna Be debuts tomorrow night on Como TV with an episode titled I Wanna Be a Heavy Equipment Operator. Next month's episode, I Wanna Be Ken Schramm's Human Chair. <laughs> this has been The Late Report. I'm going out to lock my car, but I'll be back in two minutes.